my name is Shirley Howard. I'm a fashion reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, and Facebook Marketplace. If you're interested in any of those platforms, hit that subscribe button below to be notified when new videos are released. So today's video is going to be everything you need to know about bundles. It's a feature that Poshmark uh, offers, so it's a feature that we actually should be using. So just to start off, we're going to talk about what a bundle is, what it means to a buyer, and what it means to a seller. And at the very end, I'm going to give you some of my own bundle tips. So first of all, what's a bundle? If you have shopped on any online marketplace, Amazon, Costco, your favorite clothing store, you're familiar with putting things into a cart. And as you're going through a website, you may add things to a cart just because you're browsing, then you might get to the end and then you'll look at your cart and decide what you want to take. So you may delete things from your cart at that point. So it's a way of bookmarking things as you are shopping to look at later. And Poshmark bundles can work the same way. People, when they go through Poshmark, are liking items. They can add those items to a bundle and then they can look at that bundle later and decide if they want to buy items in that bundle. So, the cool thing about bundles is that you can offer people a discount if they buy more than one item. So in your Posh um, tools, there's the ability to set a bundle discount. So if someone buys two items, you might give them 15% off. If someone buys three items, you might give them 20% off. It's completely up to you how you want to offer bundle discounts or Maybe you don't offer bundle discounts at all, and you'll do it through another procedure we'll talk about in a second. If you wanted to offer a bundle discount automatically on people that pick more than one item, you can go into My Seller Tools, My Seller Discounts, turn on Bundle Discount, and you can decide anywhere between two to seven items to offer a discount on, or anywhere from 5% to 30% off an item. I wouldn't typically go with a number as high as seven, um, but you might reasonably look at an item maybe of three and offer a 15% discount if a buyer wants to buy three items at the same time. Then you can click on the save option and confirm. So anyone that buys now, three items will automatically get a 15% discount applied to their order. Another thing you can add with bundles is for buyers, it's a good incentive for them to buy more than one item because the shipping cost actually becomes more reasonable. So if you're shipping one item and they're paying the full shipping rate, if they add more items, the shipping cost per item actually goes down. So it's an incentive for them to buy more. And when I buy on Poshmark, I never buy one of anything. I like to try and find more than one thing in someone's closet that I can purchase to get that price down. Now, some people put items in a bundle completely, not knowing what they're doing. So they're putting it in a bundle and they're just adding stuff as they go back and forth. And you sometimes end up with a buyer who has liked many things and have added it to a bundle. And that's where I get confused. I have somebody that puts 20 things in a bundle. I don't think they want to buy those 20 items. I think that they just put them there by accident to look at later. So on those big bundles, I don't actually send an offer, but if it's a couple items, then that triggers me to do one other thing. So the buyers can actually put items in bundles themselves. They can send you a offer based on what they put in that bundle directly to you. So they can take the first step and make an offer to you, which you can counter offer if you would like. Now, if you are a savvy Poshmark buyer, you probably know that if you put items in a bundle and you wait, chances are that buyer is going to come along and offer you a discount on that bundle. So they might just be playing that waiting game. Then you have the other buyer that is just completely not interested in buying anything at all and they're just adding things willy-nilly and they haven't known what they're doing. So you can send them an offer, they can send you an offer, or the buyer might not know exactly what they're doing and not make any purchases from that bundle. They've just used it as a shopping cart and possibly they'll come back at another time and I've had people come back and add more stuff to the bundle. 
uh, and add more things, or they can now go into that bundle and pick out the things they actually want. So I've had buyers that have come through and have like a lot of items, like about 20 items in the bundle. And then after a couple days, they'll send me an offer on two or three or four items that they actually want to purchase. And then we get the, the offer counter offer process starting at that one time. So it's important to let buyers know that when they buy more than one items, that that shipping discount does go down. And I think that's a feature that people don't understand. Um, but as sellers, we should be letting our buyers know that that is an option for things. So what happens now if you're the seller? There's a couple of different options. So you can offer a bundle discount all the time in your closet. It's one of the Poshmark features that you as a seller can set. You might offer anybody who buys two items 15% off, someone that buys three items 30% off, someone that buys four items 20% off. You can set the number of items and you can set the percentage discount. If you have this set as a standard offering in your closet and you noticed that somebody has liked or put two, two items in a bundle and you offer a three for 30% off bundle discount, go back to your potential buyer and say, hi, I noticed that you put two items in a bundle. I actually offer a 30% off discount on three items or more. You give them the information, hopefully they'll go back into your closet and pick a third item in order to get that 30% off discount. Let's just say you're running a sale. Three items for $30. You notice that someone has put two items in a bundle that qualify for the sale. Another conversation with the buyer. Hi, I noticed you put two items in a bundle that qualify for my three for $30 discount. If you'd like to pick a third item and get that item at a discount as well, get them to add it to a bundle, then you can send them an offer for your $30 discount. So a couple ways you can use that discounting feature. Now, if it's just a regular every day and you don't offer bundle discounts as part of your standard everyday offering, you can look at different bundles. So if someone has two items in a bundle, as a seller you can decide if you want to offer them a discount. You can decide if you want to offer them a discount with shipping or a discount without shipping. So let's just say I have somebody that likes two of my items. Let's just say that the regular price if they bought them right now would have been $60. I want to give them an incentive to purchase items from my closet. So at this point, I would probably send them a note that says, Hi, I noticed you liked two items in my closet and you put them in a bundle. Bundle. So I'm going to go ahead and offer you a discount on these two items that I hope you will consider. Then you can send them an offer. So if it was $60, I'd probably send them an offer for $50 and see if that was something that they would you know, purchase. They actually may come back with a counter offer on that as well and maybe offer you a little bit less money and you can decide if that's something that you want to accept or not. They may not even respond. They don't have to respond, but it's a communication to the buyer, sending them a note so it's a little bit personal. Now you can also offer a shipping discount on this if you'd like. And the conversation would be still the same. Hi, I've seen that you've liked a couple of items in my closet. So I'm going to go ahead and offer you a discount on these items and a reduction in your shipping rate or $3 off of shipping. You might even say, hi, I noticed you liked a couple items in my closet, so I'm going to go ahead and offer you a shipping discount on these items. And you can offer them $3 off shipping, you can offer them free shipping, and sometimes shipping is something that buyers are looking for a reduction. Now, I typically, when I send my bundles, I don't offer a shipping discount. However, I have been experimenting with offering a shipping discount with my bundles, and I have been making sales when I offer a shipping discount. Now, not all the time, and I haven't been doing it long enough to be able to have any really good statistics to share with you, but I am noticing that it is attractive to buyers to get a shipping discount. So I will let you guys know how that works out once I get a couple more weeks in of offering the shipping discount. So the point here is that we're contacting the buyer we're letting them know that they've put items in a bundle and we're offering them some sort of discount or incentive to purchase. Now, another way to approach this is, let's just say you have a buyer that has put a pair of jeans and a top in their bundle. You could choose to add a third item, a belt, a necklace, a jacket, a sweater, 
to their bundle. Then you can send them a note, hi, I noticed you had purchased, uh, were looking to purchase a pair of pants and a top, and I thought this sweater would go really nice with this outfit, so I've added it to the bundle, and I'm sending you a bundle discount that I hope you will consider. That could be a little bit forward to send that much information, or, again, more information on bundles, let's just say it was a pair of pants and a blouse, but you had some necklaces or belts or bracelets, something in your closet that was either free or very inexpensive, add that to the bundle and say, I noticed you liked a pair of pants and a top, and I'd like to throw this necklace in for free because I thought it would really complement this outfit. Free is a nice thing. People like to see free. The necklace could have been zero for you and might only been a dollar if you were going to purchase it from somewhere else. The fact is you've thrown something in for free. You've told the buyer that you've noticed what they've purchased and you're giving them a little bit of something, just a bit of a nudge to make that decision to buy from you. So it's kind of a personal connection. So throwing something in that might be free or throwing something in that's complimentary is another way to connect with that buyer and say, hey, I noticed you and I'm going to make it as easy as possible for you to buy from me. And that's what you want to do, is make it as easy as possible for them to make a purchase from you. Just to quote Poshmark Research, I do look at some of these items in advance. Research shows, again, this is straight from Poshmark, that buyers are more likely to buy if you reach out to them with a personal message. I don't know how they gathered the statistics, but that's what the Poshmark people tell me, is that they're more likely to buy if you reach out to them and contact them. So try it and see if it works. So one point that kind of confuses people is you can actually have a bundle of one. I might see that somebody has liked one item from my closet. I automatically put that into a bundle. The reason I put those in a bundle is because I can send an offer to likers without offering a shipping discount if something is in a bundle. So automatically I put one item in a bundle, so it doesn't matter to me. I could put it in a bundle, I could still reach out to that buyer and say, hi, I see you like this item from my closet, so I'm going to go ahead and offer you a discount on this item. Or again, hi, I noticed you liked this item from my closet, and I'm going to go ahead and send you an offer and a shipping discount. So a bundle can be one item, and you can choose to offer a shipping discount or choose to not offer a shipping discount. And I say in many of my videos, most of my sales come from offers to likers, and this is the exact process that I use. If I see somebody's like something, I'll put them in a bundle, I'll send them an offer with a shipping discount sometimes, and sometimes without a shipping discount. But the point is, we're contacting the buyer, again, making them more likely to buy from us, and we're prompting them to come back and look what they looked at in our closet and make that purchase. And we really want to make them make that purchase. So as you can see from many of my examples, bundles are really a great sales tool for Poshmark. It's a way for you to sell more items, it's a way for you to contact more buyers, and it's a way to show that personal touch. And anything that shows the buyers that you care or are in tune with your closet and you're actually reaching out to people is going to make them want to purchase from you. And hopefully it makes them want to come and purchase from you again and again and again. So that's my tips and tricks on Poshmark bundles. That's how I use Poshmark bundles to make most of my sales. And I hope it's something that you're able to incorporate and make sales with in the future. So if you found today's video interesting or educational, hit that subscribe button below, drop me a note in the comments, and I will see you in my next video.